How long have you been locking? Uh, about seven years locking. So you've been, you did some cutting or something? Yeah, some of them are breaking. Yeah, I see that from yeah. your blonde, your bleaching. Your hair tells a serious story yeah, to me. It. Yeah, it's not bad, so I can just see that you have a loose curl pattern. Whoever was palm rolling you, uh -huh. they clipped you at the base. They never clipped you like down the lock. Uh -huh. Did you wear bonnets or something? No. No? You always want like a, a scarf to combine it? Uh, every now and then? Every now and then. Okay, that's fine. I'm asking because you have these, these locks. These yeah, locks I tell have me locks like. locks all the way through. Well, that, just, that tells me that the hair was from. bunched or you didn't tie it up. That's pretty much Bunched. it. Yeah, I like don't wear US. bonnets too well because yeah. there's too much of it. To... That ain't too much, is it? Mm -mm. Okay. That's too much. You say it's too much of a what? Too much in the bonnet. Like it, it would, it wasn't fit enough. So if I did anything, I would tie a black satin scarf uh -huh. around here. Uh huh. That was it. If, the, if anything, yeah. If anything. That was okay. it. Yeah, I definitely want you to keep it tied up. Keep it tied up every night with the whole scarf cut like you see up here, the red one. Yeah. You definitely want to tie it up I like have. that. That's definitely going to hold you better so that you don't have these bumps anymore. And be careful of your bleaching because like down here you have dehydration mm -hmm. and that could break off. I don't want that to break off. So make sure that with your conditioning, you know, that you're getting proteins inside of that type of uh, situation and high levels of moisturization. Your hair is already fine, then bleaching it takes more away from it. Right. It takes the melanin sites and different levels of melanin out of it, which can make the hair weaker. Since I've been studying you and your videos, uh -huh. I've learned that they didn't have a, a care about a lot of them health don't. care. A lot you of know. them don't. And you know what? We can't fault them because there isn't a school that's actually teaching them what to do, how to do, <laughs> when to do it. So they're just kind of going off the whim of a beauty supply what's gonna get the lock started and held and what's gonna happen going forward. Right. Like they really don't have an understanding of what needs to happen in between those processes mm -hmm. just to keep the level of health going. Okay, so it's 50-50. Think... The understanding of self to kind of go into that that, that makes you want to search these things. Mm -hmm. Like me, what made me do it is because I had locks, I have hair. So that made me want to understand what hair is, how hair grows, how hair does everything. And a lot of people think that, okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this on my hair and it's gonna make my hair grow. No. Hair grows from the inside out. It grows from, as you see right there, that um, hair bulb and the hair papilla, yeah. which is connected to a, a blood vessel. That's what causes hair growth. So drinking good, decent amount of water, a healthy diet, stress levels, healthy blood flow is right. what keeps the hair growing healthily and strong. And you, I mean, what's gonna happen? I mean, hair's gonna do its thing. So like you have this blonde up here, mm -hmm. that you can see it's kind of damaged in certain places. Right. And which I can see back here, like you got some that are really long and then you got some that are really, really short. short right. Hair is going to continuously grow. This is not going to be a determining factor if hair is going to grow or not. What's inside is going to be a determining factor. Gotcha. Now, if you just keep putting harm on those blood vessels, you keep putting harm on those muscles and different things that are on the inside, then the hair begins to break down and it stops the process. So my advice to you is I would you know, stay stress-free. Don't worry about it as much. And think about when you were a little girl. When you were a little girl, what your hair look like? I don't know, with pigtails and French braids Just and stuff like that. Down in your butt. Yeah. And it's your mama did nothing. Natural. Your mama did absolutely nothing. We'll put some grease in and mm -hmm. let it go. And pressed it on Easter. Exactly. Like so why do why do we become adults and we think that we have to go buy the whole beauty supply, get all of this stuff, and our hair never looks like what it looked like when we were a kid? I agree. We can yeah. still have that aspect if we just understand what hair needs. If hair gives, you know, understand what hair needs, the process of it, and all of the above, understand the body, but we don't understand the body, but we're gonna read the back of that product and be like, oh, well, it said that it didn't have this and it didn't have that, so I thought it was okay. But you missed all them other 15,000 syllable words that was right next to that That's one little small word. That's a chemical. Mm -hmm. Your body is not built to absorb these type of chemicals and give back out a healthy output. So keep it, keep it light. I have, I've been. Keep it easy. You know, like everybody else, you go through uh, product changes, you try this new thing, you, they don't work, you throw that away, you try something different. So yeah. I've, I've kind of narrowed it down. And what, and what did it all do for you? Nothing. 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 You'd have made somebody rich yeah. on nothing. Yeah. So I'd be trying to tell us, you know, just relax a little bit and look at the anatomy of the hair. Look at how the erector pili, the sebaceous gland, the follicle, the hair above, all of the above breaks it down. Did you know that your hair had all of these different levels on the inside of it. No, I did not. It does. It's fine to you.
But it has all of that going on. Did you also know the moment that it came out of your head that it was dead? No. Yes. If it wasn't, the moment you cut it, the moment we twisted it too tight or anything, it would hurt because it would be a part of your flesh. It's not. It's just the outer growth from the body to protect you in certain aspects. That's, that's why you have it in certain sensitive areas just for a level of protection. So styling it in this process of growing and everything is a risk. Bleaching it is a risk. I know that. So it's, but no, it's not a bad risk. It's just a risk that you take to go. It's just like, like, what's the, what's the answer? Having surgery. You know, you're having a surgery for the better good of your body, but cutting your body open is yeah. putting your body in shock. Yeah. Exactly. So the same thing here. It's, it's a part of your body and you're going to maneuver it. You're going to do different things to it, but you just have to balance it back out. So bleaching is fine. Mm -hmm. We have healthy bleaches, we have healthy lifters, but you just have to learn to put those things back into the hair right. so that going it's forward, tanking. you don't have issues. Locking, your hair's gonna tangle naturally. Mm -hmm. If you work with it, you won already. So you see you have long hair and the hair is still gonna grow. You see you got black roots, which means your, your uh, lift has grown out some to where you can see your black hair. Mm -hmm. It's still growing, even though this is happening down here. Right. So you obviously you look you have great skin. So obviously you take care of yourself. Obviously you stay pretty balanced. Obviously you you stay within the realm of keeping some type of conscious healthiness with yourself. So I mean, you win. We just got to get you to a place of product knowledge, and some people don't know nothing I'm about you. product knowledge. So that's that's the only thing you um. Just be mindful of that, and you see, like the products I'm using here mm -hmm. work with those those follicles and all that stuff that's going to grow too. I'm not using anything light. I mean, anything heavy. I'm working with all of the things that the body needs. And even in this spray, even though I say you know certain topical agents don't do much, I'm still going to infuse a vitamin restorant type of situation in this process, so that when we get into the follicles, if anything seeps into your head, it's still a vitamin base. It's still healthy. It's still going to get you in a healthy mindset. So drink plenty of water, stay relaxed, and no too tight twisting, cause you got some breakage back here too. That's just cause you have now. What would you, what would they be twisting with? Don't even take me through that history. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, let's see, I went to Jamaica in what, June. Uh -huh. I went and had my hair twisted by this uh, new stylist, new logician. Mm -hmm. And I neglected to ask her what did she use in the beginning. Uh -huh. So at the end, I was like, "What did you use?" Because it, it looked real nice. The edges were laid and just that crispy. Was, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it was really good. It was. Uh, but gorilla I'm, snot. I'm waiting on this, but gorilla snot. Gorilla snot. Gorilla snot. Okay. Did you punch her in her gorilla snot? You know that was my fault for not even asking her what. Product well, you know, a lot of people don't because you know what what the, a lot of people are trained to do, which is look at that outcome. They look at that outcome, they're like, okay, well that looks good. Look at that mm -hmm. picture, girl. She can, she can style real good. You take that style down to like 17 in your locks and came out because they were dehydrated from that yeah. thick product that they just put in your hair. And it wasn't allowing your hair to breathe and taking that oxygen, which again, those vessels and everything on the inside need to fully grow and to keep producing healthy, long, vibrant hair. Yeah. So before we worry about just tangling it up, because it's gonna do that regardless, Let's worry about the growth factor and understanding the anatomical view of it all. And so that's why my last video we was talking about um, product knowledge and all of the things that go on with that. So many people are lost because they feel like, oh, it was $5, girl. It was $5. I can't wait. So I played a trick. I said, I'm put this in a Windex bottle. And I want to see how many people go pick up a goddamn Windex bottle. And say, girl, you twisted me with some Everclear. <laughs> and it looks so good. I'm waiting. But my clients know better, so they don't be looking at that bottle. They just be like, can you hook me up, please? Hurry up. Because I need to be rejuvenated. So did you understand the shampoo process that you got today? Uh, I've watched your videos, so I got a little knowledge of it. So you're pretty aware of it? Yeah. So you know so the, you the, the clarifier. Clarifying, uh -huh. hydration, moisturization. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that, that condition that you, you got today mm -hmm. had a hydrogelized wheat germ and an oatmeal protein in it, which those things also help hair stay strong and last long because we're twisting on it, especially for the people like yourself. They got to lift and has fine hair. Mm -hmm. So going forward, I don't want to do anything to this hair without strength first that's not going to give it some life. So you don't feel me twisting too tight on this. It'll be a healthy beneficial factor and everything will be okay. You have any questions though? Uh -huh.
Go for it. Because uh, I came in here and I, I was wanting to consult because I'm like, okay, they're breaking. Uh -huh. And I know my hair is fine. I know I've got like a little curl pattern to it, but do I, are these, are we able to save these or do I need to start fresh? No, 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 these are fine. Or? These are fine. The reason they're fine, you don't have a bald spot. So all we have to do is just put the hair back into the base and this is where my comb comes in. I just comb the hair back together and give it a soft twist, kind of just reinfusing it into the base that I want it to stay in. So we're not gonna really worry about the loop, the little fine break that you have here because it's not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's just little small pieces everywhere. So it, it will be okay. Well, I'm not going to another location. Um, I saw where I thought you were coming to Kansas City, but it was your Design Essentials tour. Yeah. And then I guess Kansas City was canceled. Yeah, somebody passed away. So okay. But I'm I'm doing some light traveling. I won't do heavy like I used to, uh -huh. but I'm gonna do it lightly to where I can actually go more places, touch more people, mm -hmm. and actually give them, you know, some advice, some love, and all the above. Now, one thing that that's gonna kind of suck about that though is I can't say that it'll kind of be a are ongoing mm -hmm. every you know other month that I'll be there but I'm gonna do my best to go reach out to a lot touch a lot of people if people want to come out for classes yeah you know stylists or whatever I'm more than willing to help those people get on the right track it ain't my track it's just the track of having healthy beautiful hair yeah. and working along with it you do got a little thin spot right in me you know that mm -hmm. yeah it is a little thin it's real thin like I can see your scalp right there so you you have real thinning like real bad thinning in your in your heredity Nope. No. No. Hmm. And on, over the Plus, seven years, how many times could you tell me that you actually conditioned? The whole time. The whole I mean, time. I've always used a conditioner. Not saying that it was a you know a good quality. Right. But. But that's fine. That means you were in the mindset of at least yeah. keeping moisturization well, in the hair. Well, I did that because so I good. bleached my hair. So. That's even better. Yeah. Even better. Because you just robbed that hair of everything when you bleached it. Right. You robbed it more than a clarifying shampoo, more than a darn dishwashing detergent. Yeah. You took everything out of it. You just basically left a very transparent, vulnerable mm -hmm. hair shaft. Which I know that. Because yeah. I've been bleaching it. Even prior to me locking it, I bleached it. And you so see how I, it changes. Yeah, so yeah. I've known to condition it. Yeah, most definitely. I'm well, saying good. it offered me the best... Uh, Hey, ingredients but I'm choosing my battles at least you conditioning <laughs> and ain't talking about I put some apple cider vinegar and beer in my no. hair and that's it has such a lustrous no shine no excuse me girl no. why your hair gotta be tipsy and turned up to get a shine just let it be let it chill beer who the hell who was drunk enough and forgot what their yeah. mouth was and poured beer in their hair these people out here they doing something yeah, they, doing they say go natural these children went to Kroger's <laughs> <laughs> and Fiesta and Randall's right. and bought all the stuff in the world and called them so they might as well go by Texas gonna get a little gasoline right. too and put on their edges if that's gonna work now the only thing I have bought out the grocery store would be the extra virgin olive oil which to me is heavy I don't it's but too heavy for me. I'm kind of weird on that one because I think that one has preservatives in it like for food and like different seasonings it might be. it's too heavy I don't need to because this is an olive oil, but see how black that comes out? Mm -hmm. And this is olive oil. But it's more base for hair because see, it has safflower, coconut oil, which is a light coconut, soybean, jojoba oil, avocado, canola, um, and olive oil extract. So it's taking the extracts from it and giving it that. It also has vitamins in it, vitamin A and vitamin D and E, which is vit vitamin A and D are really good for the hair. B complex is also really good for the hair. That helps the hair grow strong. So yeah, those see those things that you really want to infuse into the hair and work with the hair, and those things will keep your hair growing long and and have such a life life full looking set of locks. And the coconut oil, I, I have lightly on that because once that cools down, it thickens up. Right, it comes back into yeah. yeah, a solid thing. Mm -hmm. And that can cause follicular damage, which you can get in there and choke those veins, those vessels, and everything else that's causing hair growth. So the nutrients in your blood is pretty much what's helping you out. Oh, punk, you real thin in here. I was, well, your yeah, um, assistant was asking me about itching, and I told her, like, the crown is. And I showed her the area. I was like, right in here. Yeah, that's, that's where you tan it down. Yeah. Are you stressed? Uh, I got a lot going on. 
because that stress causes itches, itchiness too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a lot more. Okay, well, just keep balancing. We're you gotta use a few curse words, stuff. you know, every now and then. This is one of the business. You got your own business? Yeah. Well, okay. congratulations, Holly Junior. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, I didn't make it the world go around. Year two, so it's still a little stressful. That's somebody, you got this. You can drink some water. You got it. <laughs> it would be okay, I promise. What, what all the things have you bought? Um, down to the Talia Waji, like uh -huh. you recommended. Uh -huh. um, I've been looking for the design essentials. Uh, I know Jason Penny carries the line, but they didn't have all the, the products that you recommended. Uh -huh. So I had already started using like the Cantu cleansing. I use the cleansing shampoo, and then they have a hydrating shampoo and a hydrating conditioner. Right. That's good. Really are you getting clarified though? Are you cleaning all the things? Because you know with locking. It's their shampoo bottle says cleansing. It does? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. They have a cleanser, cleansing shampoo, and a hydrating shampoo. Okay, okay, we're good. That's so good. Did you feel the effects of the, of the hydration when you put it in the hair? I just started like in August, but I did notice that my hair is softer. Good. It is softer. Now, this is not to boast me or anything that I'm doing, but I do find that a lot of places don't try to carry the design essential line, I'm not sure why. Yeah, so I've so opened up an avenue and a pipeline on my website to where you can actually right. purchase it if you need to. And I just, I, they give me the wholesale price, so I, I charge it. Uh -huh. spend all, I, mean, I think you guys should spend the wholesale price too. I understand how professional lines want only professionals to use their products, right. but you know, there was people in this day and age, they can't afford to always go to a professional. And I don't feel like they should be limited because they just can't come sit in my chair. So I open it up so where they can get their own things and take care of themselves, you know, especially in natural hair. A lot of them like to do their own hair. Right. And that's fine. I just want you to have the healthy and the, the right things to do that process with. So even if you don't come to me, if you never meet me, you still have the stuff that's needed. And that's all that matters. Yeah, I saw your, uh, your product lineup, your lock and curl. Mm -hmm. And the Toyo I was able to get my hands on. So, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. That's real easy. That's really easy. But the design essentials, the exact products that you said to use that I couldn't get my hands on. Right. And see, that's that's what I'm saying. If you need to, you can always go down. We'll ship it to you, too. That's website, right? Mm -hmm. We'll knock it down right out there for you. But I'm so glad you came. It's a pleasure to meet you. You came all the way from, where'd you come from again? Kansas City, Missouri. Missouri? That's your heart. Yeah, this lady came to me all the way from Dubai. Oh, <laughs> Just to get a retwist. She was like, I need you to take care of my hair. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's nice. That's what's up. Yeah. Hmm. Well, good. I'm, again, I'm, I'm glad to have you. And hopefully, you know, once you leave here today, I will get, can give you something or help you, you know, conquer something with your hair. And uh, we can make it work. But I'll tell you one thing. I don't advise any type of style. Okay, yeah. and I've had it since June. Well, no, I've, I've done a few myself. Yeah, like you do, keep it light, keep it real light. Yeah. You know, make sure you, you know, your body pain placement and all the above is yeah. at the right perspective or you will get popped out. And I don't want that to happen to you. I'm going to try to stay away from the ponytails because I know they put a lot of stress up top. Well, if you have a loose one, it's fine. Just a little light loose one, it'll be okay. Yeah. You just don't want to go too crazy with it. Yeah, I mean, every now and then, again, everything that's done in balance and moderation is okay. Mm -hmm. Just don't go, you know, ham city with it, and then that's when you have a problem. And who, who does your retouching? Uh, I haven't retouched since June, I think. Okay. Yeah. This is growth since June? Mm, that sounds about right. I think I've retwisted like. Like a light retwist in August, and that was it. I have to do it. We got to balance your stress out on your hair going too slow. It's supposed to go half an inch to a full inch yeah. every 30 days. But I, I, I'm assuming that it has a lot to do with stress. Just the edges, just well, no, like I'm looking at the black. You say you haven't retouched your color. No, color, um, it's been a, a while. It's been a while since I think. Yeah, and I see I'm looking at the black hair here, which is telling me the last time you did it. Yeah. And so that's what I'm making my analysis off of. You want to make sure that uh, you know the body is relaxed, that you get a decent amount of sleep and everything that goes along with that, so that the hair can continuously grow without any issues. Like a lot of people don't really understand what stress is. Just keeping up with time sometimes can be stressful. Kids, you know, a ragged hoods, 
a cheating yeah. bald headed wife, you know, yeah. all kinds of things can attribute stress that we sometimes we don't even know that we have because we're so used to dealing with it. But in time, you start to see that the body will change due to the amount of force and pressure that you put on it from an emotional standpoint. I had two bald spots that spoke to me that looked like sadness. <laughs> but they came back after I got my life together, you know. Yeah. So, but it, it's possible. The, the follicles are not dead, so it's okay. I've been using the, uh, the Mega Growth. Mega Growth? Yeah, but you know what? They changed some things. So I don't really use them no more. No. Mm -mm. I wear straight vitamin base because everybody is, you know, they get into business, they start out these black owned companies, and then next thing you know, they want to sell them, they sell it to somebody of a different nationality, like Shea Moisture, and then they changing up stuff based off of what they know, which I can't fault them because you don't know nothing about my hair. Right. But you, know, when you put all of this stuff in it, it ain't helping me no more. Because what rhymes with natural hair is moisturization. They don't know that. And so then they have a problem going forward. And that's an issue, but you know, it takes time to realize that. And so hopefully somebody will come out with a line and they will just be able to keep it, you know, even if it's homegrown. Keep it simple, keep it easy, keep it, you know, with an integrity base so that we can still have that, that mature level of growth. We can have that mature level of understanding and the hair can breathe. Like all of those things are very, very, very important. I don't think a lot of people understand hair growth. I don't think a lot of people understand the importance of understanding what hair growth is. Hair growth is not just you looking at your hair, sitting there waiting for it to do a number of things. Hair growth is you working with your body and working with the process of how your body is naturally built and what your body is gonna naturally do going forward to do an outward performance of hair growth in a healthy, beneficial factor. A lot of us are doing a lot of styling, even if it's not just natural styling with relaxers and different chemicals and all of the above, you know, uh, snatching and using very heavy waxes and very heavy oils and all that because we want instant gratification in the things that we are doing. But the instant gratification is not getting us anywhere. You have to understand that balance and moderation and all the things that go forward with that is from the inside out would help their body produce healthy hair, beautiful skin, beautiful teeth, all of the above. A lot of guys have a DHT or a sex, uh, sex steroid that causes issues too in the hair, but sometimes you just have to be mindful of the process. A sex steroid is pretty much how the beard grows or how some guys have chest hair, all of the above. Some women have that same process too, but that just means the body is still in a healthy format just or just because it comes in a genderific, you know, unidentified way does not mean that that's not healthy for you. So understanding that process, understanding what goes along with that, like vitamins A, B complex, D, uh, drinking plenty of water, healthy balanced foods, all of the above. I'm not saying go vegan, but I'm saying, you know, just have a proper diet, have a healthy diet, do a little exercising. Don't just be a lazy bum sitting on the sofa thinking that your body's just gonna do things while you're sitting there. These are, these are how bed sores and different things can come about. So give your body some type of resistance, give your body some understanding and some integrity, and your hair will grow just fine. You see that in my process, I don't use all of those different things. I don't do all of that stuff to the hair. And my clients have head pools of hair because we work with that hair matrix connection that pretty much has those three different blood vessels that just connect in and give the hair those proper vitamins and nutrients and proteins that it needs to go out of the body to remain strong and into the element of life. There are also other many different levels of the hair and different... Um, um, breakdowns of the hair like the cortex, the medulla, the inner cortex, the connective tissue layer, the melanocytes, the biting cells, all of the above that go into that, that have a lot of beneficial factors with how hair grows. But a lot of people don't understand that because no one has broken down the anatomical view or paid attention to that hair process on the, from the inside out. We just look at those black fibers that go out of our scalp and think that, that everything is just okay. But a lot of times it's not. A lot of people don't know that when your hair is extremely fine, you're missing what is called a medulla. And if that medulla is gone, your hair is like pretty much on a cerebral palsy type situation. It produces everything 10 times faster because it's missing one of the factors of hair, which has made it thicker and stronger. But that's not a bad thing. They're just saying that your hair knows the process of what it needs, so it's gonna kick into gear to give what those things need when it needs it. So your hair is gonna do healthy by itself because that's just how naturally it is built to process. But when you come in and you put other things in here and you're doing other stuff to break it down, you then put a rut into your process and that's when the hair starts to break, that's when you cause follicular damage, all of the above, and then sometimes you can come back from it, sometimes you can't. So it's just up to you. If you have different scalp issues like dermatological issues, um, psoriasis, eczema, um, dermatitis, or anything that goes along with that, I say consult your dermatite, your derma, your doctor, that dude, because I couldn't get the word out. Consult that person 
understand what's going on in that scalp issue, understand what's happening there so that you can get proper medications or whatever it needs to go forward. Also in a med medical aspect, if you're taking a bunch of pills or you're doing a bunch of that, the body is processing those things too. And sometimes a pill has a side effect that it might not tell you about and the side effect can alter outward performance of the body. So all of these things take a factor into healthy hair growth that a lot of us don't take into a mindful perspective when our hair is growing. But it's very, very important. And if you think about it, if you just sit down and think about all the things you put into your body, put them on the table and just look at them and think about the, the cause to effect, the side effects and everything that goes on to that, you can then find a new healthy balance for yourself. So just think about what you're doing, be a little more mindful and slow down and pay attention. And I promise you, you will have healthy hair.